Um, on the offensive line, um, you got three starters coming back from injury. Uh, you lost a bit of depth there with uh, Kemp and Ferber graduating, and probably Patty Newfeld moving on to the Riders. Yeah, you know we don't expect Patty to be back. He does have a year of eligibility, and uh, obviously we would welcome him back if he if he came. But uh, uh, that's an area we've concentrated on, and again, uh, we have one committed from Alberta at this point, uh, uh, Clint Reader from Calgary. Um, uh, we're hoping to get answers from two more kids uh, this week, and we've got a couple more visiting this week uh, uh, that uh, that are good players. Uh, this Jamie Wendell was a kid from Vancouver, from Westminster, that was uh, played in an All-Star game at the Citadel at Christmas in the, in the States, uh, played on Team World. Uh, and Jamie's coming in for a visit this week. Uh, there, there are some, some good kids, again, within the province, and. Uh, and right now, those Team SAS guys are guys that uh, are, are people that we're, we're going after because I don't see anybody surfacing that's, uh, you know, that's a whole lot uh, further along than that. Right, right. Uh, quarterback, that looks to be uh, Trent Peterson's spot there, but uh, he's going to have some, he's going to have some guys you know, pushing him for the starting reps there. Yeah, and uh, you know we're we're real close on uh, on uh, having Burko commit now. Drew Burko, uh, obviously very familiar to our program and things, and uh, that's one that we hope to finalize this week. Uh, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then Jelani's coming back as well. So we've got, although inexperienced, we have tremendous athletes in that spot. And, uh, right. And that's going to be, you know, our job to bring those guys along the best we can in the off season and uh, in training camp. Right. Uh, running back, you can always use more depth at running back. Yeah, uh, and... uh, it appears that way. <laughs> and, uh, it, you know, just uh, you know, going into May, we're going to be better than we were at the end of the year uh, because you know Hassler will be healthy. Uh, Dexter Janke has been. Uh, has been practicing now full speed here, or conditioning full speed. He got to go ahead to to uh, participate 100% at Christmas. So he was one of our top recruits last year, who was coming off injury, and uh, and uh, we're anxious to see what he does this spring. So uh, kind of three proven tailbacks in that regard, but uh, we do uh, we do want to find a couple more, and uh, and those are guys that uh, you know we're in contact with, and. Uh, and hopefully uh, can get one or two more guys in. Right, right. Jeremy Andrew, he was kind of a nice surprise, but he's he's had surgery here in yeah, the season. Yeah, Jer had surgery uh, in November. Um, he probably won't be ready for the spring, uh, but uh, you know we're hoping that by August again he's uh, he's a hundred percent. And uh, it will probably take him. Our experience with those guys is that they'll be practicing full speed at. Uh, Right at the start of the year, but it'll likely be you know the first of October before he's kind of back to 100. percent Right. Okay. Um, and at receiver, it's kind of similar to the O line. You've got some guys you know that are moving into their fourth and fifth years here, and uh, um, it's kind of a, another situation where it's nice to bring in some young kids and develop them for you know to start in a couple of years. Yeah, we got to find a couple wide receivers. Uh, you know, I, I think we, we went across. Uh, we just put up a mock depth thing here last week, and uh, we go too deep, uh, which gives us ten guys that all have college football experience and are going to be, you know, can step in and play pretty well for us. Uh, Kit Hillis is coming over from the Hilltops. Uh, he's he's very quick, uh, tough kid. Uh, he'll kind of fill the Gorski role uh, kind of thing going into into this year. Um, uh, we also want to find a couple young wideouts that, that can play because uh, we know that if we get Etchin back for one more year, that'll be it. We may not even have him back. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you know, that's an area again where we're pretty good 10 deep right now, but uh, so three or four of those guys are going right. to disappear within a year. On special teams in the return game, um, like uh, uh, I know uh, Luke Teal was pretty good there last year, and uh, Whitewich got a lot of action near the end of the season. Um, are you targeting, you know, with uh, Luke likely being a, a starter on in the secondary, you know, giving him some time off there and p putting someone new in, or? 
Well, he's so good. I don't know whether he's going to get much time off. But yeah. uh, he, he will be one of our guys back there. Uh, Jared Lambert's a guy that's already committed to us. It's an excellent return guy as well. Uh, Jelani has return capability. Uh, certainly kickoffs, Hassler's very good too. So um, there's some guys there that, yeah, we, we, we want to look at some new people. But, uh, but those are guys that, uh, um, you know, I'm sure at the start of the year are going to be back there. Uh, uh, Mike King also has some abilities as a return guy because he was a running back in high school. So, um, other than Lambert, probably no one stepping in right now that uh, that we're anticipating uh, going to go back there and right. uh, see a lot of action. True. Uh, and then with the kickers, um, you know, we had some struggles early on, but they seem to really uh, round into form at the end of the season here. Yeah, once they settled into. Uh, you know the role of one one punting and one place kicking. Uh, we were quite productive in that area. Uh, it's an area we still have to improve, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Uh, we know it, they know it, and uh, and consistency is is the big thing there. So we got two kids with strong legs. Uh, we're hoping to bring in one more, um, uh, just to uh, to continue to develop and uh, and uh, you know if we had to play tomorrow, uh, we won't have one guy doing it, but. Uh, I guess that's kind of the ultimate goal right. down the road. Right. Unless we see a significant roster increase, um, we, you know, uh, that's that's something that's an advantage if you can have one guy to do both. Right. Okay.